the package you're looking at is both a mystery and a treat. It's not a mystery in terms of what it is. I know what it is, and I'll share briefly right here. This is QB Games. What does that mean? It's Quantum Black. Quantum Black is a new game. The easiest way to describe it, I think, would be a nastier version of the X-Files powered by Ubiquity. That's what makes this such a nice surprise. This is a new company with a new Ubiquity license putting out a new way to play using one of my favorite systems of all time. This was financed by Kickstarter and it flew under the radar. There's a lot of people I know that like Ubiquity that didn't hear about it or heard about it late, that sort of thing, but really is an kind of an exciting idea. Now, I didn't react too positively at first because one of the things that was advertised to sell the game was a fear mechanic, which, you know, people who have followed Lakes of Adventure or Hollow Earth Expedition, well, you know that Ubiquity already has, and that's a good one. So why would you need a new one? Well, that's explained by what Quantum Black actually is. In a nutshell, Characters in a Quantum Black game are going to need to have a certain amount of resilience in terms of facing horrific events and beings and whatnot. And the game is going to focus on that experience, whereas the horror mechanic in other Ubiquity games is designed, in a sense, for a faster fall toward insanity. Maybe not reaching it, but that sense that this is driving you mad, and that's really what it's about. The package itself was shipped on May 31st, which is when we got an announcement that packages were going out, and I knew, being far, far away, that I'd have to wait longer than others, and I saw pictures of people getting theirs uh, all last week. So here's mine. It's Friday here, and it's a very nice thing to find at the end of the week. Here's another interesting tear, and another one over here. Often my stuff gets beat up on the way, but let's see what's going on inside. Now, I can feel smooth plastic inside, and of course this is a heavy, you know, standard bubble wrap envelope. So I'm not really worried about the condition of the book, I'm just, as always, curious about what monsters lurk in the post office. Okay, it's sealed up too tightly for me to open one-handed, so I'm going to use my terrifying X-Acto knife. Cower and fear, internet. Okay. There it is. Here it comes. First we start out with... A double-sided and very thematic Quantum Black bookmark. CD. And... This is a game. So... Here it is. Let's see if we can get rid of the glare. We can get rid of the glare and we can add my reflection, which is terrible. Okay, so you can see right on the cover what kind of game is intended. Guns, horrors, horror, and whatnot. Now, one of the cool things about this Kickstarter is that this was supposed to be the cover. Okay, but they ran into problems with the cover. And so the hard covers were not printed with this as the cover. This is a dust jacket. The cover is reported to be Night Gone Tide. And that upgrade was done at the company's expense. Such things always impress. So checking the condition, we see the corners are nice and square, if somewhat blurry. There we go. Nice and square, all the way around. Okay. And let's go back and focus, and let's get the shrink wrap off. Now we received the PDF copy of the game Oh, a few months ago now. I can't quite remember when it was because it's been such a busy time. And here we go. Uh, so busy, in fact, that I wasn't, in the end, able to talk about it much other than to say that I had read it and that it was a good read. And that's terrible. We really should have been generating more discussion. Ah, 
You hear that? Nothing. That's what we want. Then take a look at this cover. Okay. Lovely. Okay. So no matter how you want to play it, if you want to be you know sort of mysterious and grim, you can go for that cover. If you want to be overt, violent, technologically adept, and ready to blast evil, you know you can do that too. We have things inspired by the mythos inside. We have maybe more common <laughs> tools of the trade, you could say. And I just saw an old friend somewhere in here. Do my eyes deceive me? Where did I see? There it is. This person uh, should be familiar to, you know, friends of the hollow earth. <laughs> All right. So we have a nice black and white kind of almost industrial layout inside uh, to put you in the mood. And as you can see, the pages are both thick and glossy. There are new rituals, uh, new ideas on magic for ubiquity. And, of course, a nice long section on sanity, insanity, horror, and that sort of thing. If you've played a ubiquity game before, it'll be very easy to get yourself up and running with this one. Now, what can we say about the game? Well, I haven't had a chance to run it yet, and this is just an unboxing, but I've run a lot of ubiquity games. So taking a look at the archetypes, I guess, is how I'll address that for this video. We have, starting from the back and going to the front, the former music star. All right. And you know, he's giving very normal traits, right? Might be a, a, quite a good shot, actually. But he is a former music star. And he keeps stumbling across cosmic horrors and related occurrences, so we can't say we blame him from going to the range. We have a mechanic, okay. the stunt woman, who's pretty nasty in combat, actually. We have a former cultist, lots of supernatural lore and ritual magic. We have the accidental occultist, this is probably my favorite. We have the grifter, the mad scientist, the ruthless corporate mastermind. Right, so we're playing all sides here. Former gang enforcer, he looks a little familiar, doesn't he? We have the ex-soldier, the techie, former bad cop. And those are our sample character archetypes. So we have quite a variety of of types to play fresh out of the box. And of course, this is ubiquity. You can make pretty much anything that you can think of that matches the genre. And the genre looks pretty terrifying. Sections of the game are pretty text heavy, which I appreciate actually, uh, especially when I'm reading in PDF. And it's quite a large font, um, which I guess the older among us are going to appreciate and I'm starting to appreciate myself. All right, we have repeated characters throughout the book, which is also a touch that I appreciate. A lot of standards redressed for the genre from, you know, the, the base system, which again speeds up acquisition of understanding of this particular game. And that's it. My back of rewards have arrived in great shape. Some nice bonuses. This is the other side of the bookmark. Pretty nicely done. Quantum Black. And the website is listed quantumblackgames.com. If you go to quantumblack.com, you will get an actual company. Who knows what they do? The shipping charges to get this to me so fast were outrageous. So my thanks go out to the company for taking the hit on those. If in the past you liked games like Beyond the Supernatural or Cthulhu Now, you like shows like The X Files or Millennium, this just might be the ubiquity power game for you.